Hello everyone, this is me, Lady Infamous 415, Grown Woman Gaming, SSGP. You already know, you guys already know uh, what's going on. It's been about three weeks. And when I said that I was going to do this for about every week, I just did not do it every week. I'm sorry about that, guys. But I'm here. So a lot of developments came up during these past three weeks. Um, more work. Um really doing more like office type work at home now. So I have a project that I have to do that is due in December and I have to make sure everything is on point. And to be honest with you, I'm almost done. <laughs> I'm almost done. So you, I haven't streamed that much because of that. Um, also let me see what's been going on. I still am on team delivery pending on the series x i know that it's almost three weeks till we get our console i'm like i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get it on time so i still have excuse me i burped because i ate a i ate a breakfast sandwich and and i just burped because of that sorry um with that in mind, I still have the Xbox One. Um, I already pre-ordered Call of Duty Black Ops. I know. Don't judge me. I'm sorry. But I need to learn. And I have to have this mic so close to my face. Um, I ordered it. I, I played the open beta. It's better than I played on the alpha. And a lot of people ain't liking it it's i but you know that's my crack i'm gonna buy it that's my 2k that's my fifa that's my street fighter that's the game i get all the time good bad or ugly it, i rarely not get a call of duty title so i will be doing that um battle toads i don't this i need to I need to let people know for the future that if you guys going to do beat em ups, side scroller beat em ups, that y'all need to like make that online co-op, especially with the pandemic. It doesn't make any sense that you as an individual going to make a video game that's not couch co-op. I mean, uh, online co-op because not everybody got a whole family to play with and especially with the time that everybody's still, we're still stuck inside, um, more opportunities to play online. The last couple of beat em up games that I played, which was Streets of Rage 4 and Battletoads, they were not online co-op. And that, I, I, I wasn't playing. I wasn't playing. I didn't like that at all. I didn't like that at all. Um, let me see. I'm playing Doom. I think Doom is like right now the only game that I'm playing. Because, um, I'm tr man, it's, it's, it's almost like November's going to be thick. It's going to be really thick with new games. And <sighs> I think the uh, last game that I got, on, that I'm going to attempt to get is probably, uh, Little Hope, the scary game. It comes out on the 30th. I want to do that as well. Um, I've been playing some Legends on Ghost of Tsushima. That shit is fire. Even though it's PvE instead of pvp it's still kind of fun it's still fun i i enjoy it very well um they're doing a raid on the 30th so now i got a little hope and then i gotta do legends raids on the 30th and i'm like i don't know if i can be able to do both of them but we gonna try um i'm enjoying it i, I love going back to that game we beat bloodborne oh my god ha ah, shots out to nicholas for being awesome <laughs> for help I have not played any Bloodborne until I met Nick and Mick, Nick told me to play this game so I played it we played it for about two years but we finally beat it I'm so happy the playlist is in my channel and I'm gonna I don't know I might fuck around and do new new game plus I don't know uh I might I want to see how hard it is but I New Game Plus might be the way for Bloodborne. And if anybody plays Bloodborne and they're new to the shit, and if you want to play, just let me know, and I will have no problem with that. Um, also, 
I hope. Okay, my mic is still working. Okay, what else? Uh, we did a couple of good things. I was in Latinos and Gaming's um, three-day event on Twitch, which focuses on Afro-Latinos, Latinos in gaming, uh, people who work in the industry, workshop classes, charity streams. Um, for me, they invited me to do Afro-Latina in gaming, which means that, you know, we had like some questions to talk about of what's the issue that's going on in the industry as far as, um, as far as being Afro Latina. So I was there with other, uh, I, I'm gonna, I, I posted it up on Twitter and a lot of people came through and watched the live show. Shout outs to you guys who came through and shout outs to the people who donated for the fundraiser as well. I don't mind doing that again. Um, I enjoyed it. I meet new people and great networking. And like I said, I wouldn't have a problem doing that again. Um, also we have been nominated. We, as in me and grown woman gaming, um, is this organization called the video game hers is, uh, they do a, an award show. I don't, uh, by women for women. And we got nominated. We by me, lady infamous for, um, Twitch streamer of the year. And best community and we also got best community for grown women gaming and I was pushing every damn day so for the people who was like um annoyed by my tags and stuff this week I am so sorry because I know who I saw who we were up against no shade no tea all the ladies all the ladies are wonderful in their own way Oh, I got, I got, I got my, my favorite treat. It's, it's chocolate with chocolate. Look, I don't even eat the whipped cream. This whipped cream don't get eaten. This shit gets, but the pudding and the chocolate. Great. So like I said, no shade, no tea on the, on the women that got nominated for all the categories that we got nominated, but I know that they got a bigger following than me. So I had to like, I literally had to push and be like, I got to let these motherfuckers know who the best streamer is. Cause I, I stream a lot and, um, I truly feel like I deserve Twitch streamer of the year. I do. I believe, and I and I believe, and I just and I truly believe that grown woman gaming deserves community of the year. But I can't just sit still while I see other people, other people in the same category as us pushing for, for people to vote. I'm like, no, 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 hell no. Nah. I'm about to do that shit too. I was ready. I was so fucking ready. I made sure every day I retweeted, I tagged y'all. I'm making sure that we hit the finals. I do not know yet. I think we will know probably by the end of the week if any of us will be in the finals. Um, for everyone, if we are in the finals, thank the Lord and watch me push some more votes so we can get the trophies. And if we do not get to the finals, I just want to thank each and every one of you guys that voted for us in the first place. We love y'all. I love y'all. And I just want to say that off rip. Like you nominated us. We love you for that. Cause you thought about us when you nominated us. Um, let me see. I've been going to twerk class. Mm -hmm. Um, I had an old co-worker of mine, shout out to Evie, you know, she do the damn thing. Um, she is a, she's a, what is that word? Personal trainer. And with her, she is, uh, she has a twerk class like every Monday. And, um, I was like, sure, why not? I, I'll go. It's not a problem. Um, I knew I couldn't twerk 
I knew I couldn't work at all while I was, uh, when I decided to do this tour class. And I knew I had the struggle booty, but honey, I didn't know how a struggle my twerk was till I actually went to twerk class. And that first day, that first day was horrible. I wore the, I wore some tights instead of shorts and it's looking, my butt's looking like squish in the tights. And I hate that. And I was like, next time, next time I go do a twerk class, I'll wear shorts. I got some shorts. The shorts were, they were like a couple of inches too short. But I felt like this is, if I'm gonna, if I wanna see my booty shake, I'm gonna have to get these shorts. So, damn, they always fucking me up while I do a video. Anyway, I go to class with my shorts. I was self-conscious of how I looked at the class, but it is really like a no judgment free zone. And that's what I really like about the class. I mean, you got some people that can twerk with their eyes closed and you got people that twerk worse than me, but we all there encouraging each other and, and it's good cardio and I get to exercise and stuff like that. So I really enjoyed the twerk class. I try, I, the, the thing is it's too far from my house. So if it was closer to my house, I'll probably go every week, but I'll, I go every other week, but I, my, my twerk instructor told me that she told me some things I needed to do while I was at home. So I tried to do it at home. Um, hell yeah, I'm gonna be twerking on my little struggle booty on somebody. Shit. They're gonna be like, look at this struggle booty, but this struggle booty gonna shake. I tell you, fuck what you mean. Anyway, um, we got some videos coming up. We got Road Company. We got, what else we got? We got Ghost of Tsushima. Um, I want to say thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my weekend. And I want you to guys really, really, I really appreciate you guys watching me. Because sometimes y'all watch me and sometimes y'all don't. But I appreciate that. But I really really appreciate that um make sure you watch grown women gaming the best thing on a saturday morning 9 a.m noon eastern on the grown women gaming channel we are almost at a thousand i think last time i saw we was at like 8 30 something so we're almost at a thousand if we get a thousand we might do something special for you guys and letting you know um also make sure to listen to some sort of gaming podcast with me on cheese Productions, jay sharpie and zeldrick uh we do our shows on sundays we post them on mondays wherever you get your podcast fixed sometimes i say some dumb shit sometimes i say some smart shit you don't know which week you'll get with me um thank you so much for checking my video go niners oh and my lakers won the championship boy what i tell y'all go lakers i swear the last video i swear i said go lakers but now you guys have a great weekend. Peace.